Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, King Bean, and welcome back to another show, another video, and a brand new episode. And yo, you're now rocking with the best word up. Shout out to everybody who came by and watched my previous video. If you didn't, of course, you know the link is down in the description. Go click on it. Go check it out. You know you want to. Go ahead and do it. I would greatly appreciate it. And shout out to everybody who came by and watched my live streams. I always appreciate that, man. And shout out to the new subscribers. Word up. We keep growing, man. The King Bean Empire keeps growing. And it's thanks to you guys because you guys are the absolute best. I really appreciate it. We're small, but we're strong. You feel me? So anyway, um, I'm doing this video because I was inspired by a couple of YouTube uh, people that I follow. And one of them is Gino PS4. And also I follow 219 Gary Andy. I think that's her... That, that's a YouTube name, but she's better known as uh, Miss Miss K. I think that's her name. I, I should be better at that, but I just don't remember and I didn't write it down. But they had some great videos this past week. And uh, and I want to just talk about something real quick with you guys. If you're getting into content creating on YouTube, and these are the things that, are, that some people will not tell you. And it may not even apply to a lot of you guys. Because there are some people who get on here on YouTube and they blow up really fast. And I'm going to go through some of the people who are just blowing up pretty fast. And why I think they're blowing up really fast. And why everybody else is probably like me just toiling in just obscurity and not getting the views. And you feel like you're putting up a lot of quality and nobody's watching. And, and also it's going to be therapeutic for myself as well. Because the channel is small and I did expect it to do a lot better than what it's doing. But hey, I'm still having fun doing it. Now, first of all, this is what I really want to talk to you guys about when you when you decide that if you want to do gaming and YouTube or do anything in YouTube or, you know, when you start creating content. And it's really some of the stuff that's, that you're going to have to deal with. There's going to be lulls. And what I mean, there's going to be lulls, not L-O-L-Z, but I mean lulls like L-U-L-L-S, like there's nothing going on or you can't you have something what they would similar to be like writer's block you don't really know what you want to talk about because like for, for me personally i like to be a little bit different than anybody else on youtube and, and that's really like being myself i don't want to really talk about too much in gaming news not too often but i will talk about it but when you got millions of other people talking the same thing sometimes you got to be a little bit more creative and make yourself stand out uh more distinguishedly i guess if that's the word than anybody else but when you're getting into those times where you don't know what to talk about, you don't have any content or you don't really just not feel like doing it, you have to understand why you're doing YouTube. And understand that it is a hobby, to be honest with you. It is a hobby and you're putting yourself out there for other people to see. And then you do want people to watch your videos. If you didn't, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be doing YouTube. Everybody has an ego when they do YouTube. Everybody is narcissistic when it comes to YouTube. You, Everybody likes the likes and everybody likes the interaction in the comment section. Everybody likes their videos being shared. If you didn't like it, you wouldn't be on it. Let's be honest. But there's going to come some times where the channel's not growing. There's going to come some times where, where there's nothing to talk about. And no matter what you do, even if even if you are putting up quality content, there's going to be times where people are just not going to watch it. They're not going to want to listen to it. They don't want to deal with it or they're just not going to support it. And that's what it's going to be like. So what do you do to get out of that? Well, one thing that I'm learning to do, just do the videos if you want to do them. Now, that sounds contradictory to everything else. That's probably why you're saying, well, being that's why you got such a low sub count. But it does it does you no good to do a video when you're not feeling like doing a video because if you don't feel like doing a video and I've done them, I've actually put videos up and actually deleted them and taken them down because of the fact that I can tell maybe nobody else can tell, but I can tell that I was not into that video. I didn't want to really do that video, but I felt like I had to do that video for whatever reason. I'm not getting paid for these videos. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is not my job. This is a hobby. I like for it to be a job. I ain't going to front on you but it's not right now it's a hobby so i'd rather put out more quality than quantity but but youtube does respect quantity as a system as an algorithm goes you want kind you want quantity out there but it does you no good if you don't have any quality behind it because how are you going to grow as a youtuber how are you going to make your channel better but what happened if you do blow up then now you got to figure out a way to keep your subs you see what i'm saying because you can't keep putting out bad content. And if I have to re relate it to football, well, I live here in Northeast Florida, and I'm a big fan of the Jacksonville Jaguars. In the early 90s, the Jaguars, well, the mid and late 90s when they, when they were born, and they were a really, really good football team. 
Everybody packed that stadium. That stadium was full. It was 70,000 strong. Easy. I know. I've been to a bunch of those games. But when, after the Tom Coughlin era, era ended in 19, well, it wasn't 1999, but 1999 was their best season. They went 14-2 and two that season. And I ultimately lost to the Tennessee Titans in the AFC Championship game at the time in all Tail Stadium. I know. I was heartbroken and crushed when that happened. But after Tom Coughlin left in 2000, I want to say 2000, 2001, the Jaguars started to slide. They did get a little bit better under Del Rio. But after that, and of course, there's a train coming by. Any other time the train wouldn't be coming by. But the train's coming by now. This is awesome. So if you're the train in the background, that's what's going on. So anyway, we uh, the Jags struggled. And they did make one playoff appearance, but they struggled. So we used to be the laughing stock of the league because we had tarps all over the stadium. If you're familiar with the NFL, you know this. So people would clown us for not going to the game. We Like, you are lucky to have an NFL team. You need to go support it no matter what. But we live here in the South. We're in the heart of SEC country. We live amongst good football from the Gators to the Seminoles and my favorite team, the Hurricanes, traditionally are very good teams. I know the Hurricanes are not great right now, but traditionally they are very good teams. We know what good football looks like. So nobody's not going to go out there and support a bad football team. So you don't support them. So... At some point in time, that's going to catch up with you if you're a content creator and you've actually built an audience and you keep putting crap out there. You're going to either lose lose subs or you're going to have dead subs. And that's not what you really want, especially if you want to change this into some kind of business. So take your time and do your, do your videos. You need, you need to do quality videos, but you got to really, really want to do these videos. The thing is, sometimes when you get to doing these videos, they, you, you can, they everybody always tell you do what you love and do what you're passionate about. That's great. That's always fantastic. That's always a plus. But there's some days you're not passionate about it. There's some days you just don't want to do it. And sometimes you have to understand your why of why you're doing these videos. Uh, what are you trying to build and what you're trying to achieve? And usually that can fuel your passion. But there's so many things and other factors that can come into your life. Like uh, for me, for an example, I'm just using myself. I'm not speaking for everybody else. But it can be other things happening to you in your personal life. It can be things happening to you at your job. It can be happening things at school or what have you that brings you down and makes you not want to do it. But understand, use that for fuel, you know, and it might be people that you think that's going to support you. They're not going to support you. And that may hurt you, too, as well. But for the other people that you have out there when you're creating this content to get out of that law is just to just to push through it. Sometimes you got to push through it. Sometimes just just back away from YouTube. Literally, just back away from YouTube. Don't put up a video. I know that sounds crazy. One of the easiest things you can do, especially if you got a PS4 or if you got the right computer equipment, just live stream. You ain't got to talk or nothing. You don't have to talk or anything. You can just literally sit there and just play play your game, live stream it on YouTube without anybody talking about it. You can still do it, and that that's one of the things I've been doing when that, when I had nothing else to talk about, or if I just didn't feel like editing a video. Another thing you can do, watch other content creators who are, you know, who are popping, who are doing different things and kind of get you get you some different ideas and get you some things that you may want to try in your video. Sometimes just think outside the box. I mean, especially if you're a small YouTube channel like I am, it doesn't matter what you do because nobody's paying attention to you. You never know. You might find that one thing that's great. And once you find that one thing that's great, you can pop and just blow up and do whatever you want. You know what I mean? It'll be great. So, like I said, this is not going to talk about everybody and how everybody's doing their videos your videos are unique now if you want to be a character then be a character i think the easiest thing in the world uh when you're doing videos in youtube and especially going through love is just to be yourself hell if you just want to do a video like i'm doing like right now and saying yo i just didn't feel like doing any videos that's how it feels like sometimes some this is what life is you know sometimes you may love your job you may love whatever you do but there's some days you just don't want to deal with it you just don't want to do it or well, you may not be inspired. And it, those things like that happen. And that's what happens when you're doing YouTube. And we all have egos and we all are narcissistic, like I explained. Now, there are some people, videos, who, who you'll see that you know that you're better than. And there's some people I know that I'm better than on YouTube, but they're, they're much more popular than I am. And I feel that way. And I may be wrong, but at least I feel that way. I know I feel that way. And there's some people that you may be watching like, yo, I'm better than King Bean. How in the world he's got 48 subscribers and I only got 12? You know what I'm saying? It, it, that's how it is. That's that's being honest with you. I'm I'm a realist. I understand that. And that things happen. Like some people have blown up now because of drama videos. They do gameplay videos and it doesn't work. But drama videos, it drives the people, it drives the eyeballs there, and that's great. But at some point in time, that wave's gonna burst. It's gonna burst. But I, I mean, I don't think it's gonna burst like soon because we all 
here, especially in the United States, love drama. And right across the world, we all love drama. But that's how they blown up now. They blown up off a drama video. So, and there's nothing wrong with it. If that's what you want to do, that's what your lane is, and that's what you're good at, then go ahead and do it, especially if you're having fun, you know what I'm saying? And and do it. But the bottom line is, when those lulls come in, in to your YouTube videos, you just got to remember, if you're not getting paid for it, even if you are getting paid for it, this is something that's supposed to be fun. This is something that's, that you're supposed to enjoy. And just take your time with it. Like I said, there's going to be times where you just need a break from it. You know, you just need a break and just take a step back and just and maybe you want to change something up. Maybe you want to try something new. Then go ahead and try it. Don't be forced in the box. This is not something, again, you're not working for a corporation for the most part. If you're not working for a corporation a part of a partnership or a part of something that's not going to let you be your own creator, then take a step back. It's yours. This is your channel. Google and YouTube allow you to have this channel. You do this channel the way you want to do it. And again, it's nothing wrong with watching other YouTubers. And I'm not saying steal their ideas and be inspired by their ideas and figure out something that you can do. Sometimes like when I watch videos, I'm looking for ways I can make my editing better or maybe ways for where I can speak better or maybe ways of how to tell a story better. You know, things of that nature. And I feel like the more I do it, the more the better I get at it. But I'm, I'm still growing. I'm still growing as a person doing this YouTube stuff and I'm enjoying it. I am having a great time. I'm having a blast with it. And I'm enjoying and interacting with people like my man Smash. We always talk all the time. You know what I'm saying? And everybody else who's been coming by and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. You know, it's, it's, it's good for me. So, so anyway, I think this video is going on long enough. I didn't really want to talk this long about it. But I kind of want to just get, get this out, get my point out and understand and let you people understand that if you're making videos on YouTube, there's going to be times, no matter how big you are or how much you are popping or how much you're growing, there's going to be times where you're not going to want to do a video. And it may be longer than a day or two. It may be a week or two or three weeks. But you don't need to stay away too long if you're going through that. It's okay to take a step back, but then get back into the game. Don't quit, even if it's even if your channel's growing slow like mine. Even there's times when I want to quit and just say, screw it. But you know what? I still hop right back on that horse and I get into it and because I, I want to do it and I'm enjoying it. So sometimes it's OK to take a break. Sometimes it's OK to take a step back. And sometimes it's OK to sit back and reevaluate what you want to do and why you're doing it. You need to understand your why of why you're doing YouTube. Whatever your why may be, that needs to be your main motivation, even when your passion is running low or even if nobody's supporting you. But uh, it's your boy King Bean. And I'll holler at you dudes later, man. Thanks for stopping my listening. You guys are the greatest. And if you're new to the channel, you like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to play me in some PlayStation or Xbox, the gamer tags are all down in the description. Just hit your boy up. Trust me. We'll play some games. I like to have fun. And it's your boy, King B. And I'll holler at you dudes later, man. One love. Peace.